This is gonna be a very quick and very simple example of how to set up the basics of a head rig. So I'm gonna click on this circle tool here and click and drag. And now I've got something that we'll say is the head. I'm gonna select this layer and right click on it, go to rename and we'll call this one the head. Now what I wanna do is I've still got the circle tool. So I'm gonna click and drag and hold down shift if I want it to be perfectly round. Go to the fill. Let's make this a whitish off white color, something like that. I will grab my arrow tool, move this over. So this will be the white of the eye and we need two of them. So control D to duplicate. And I'm gonna group these together for speed and simplicity. So select them, press control G and now we've got a group and we can call this one, uh, let's call this eye white and I could collapse this. So the next thing I wanna do is create some pupils. So back to the circle tool, click and drag in here, and let's make this black. So fill, black, and uh, I'm gonna select this one, control D, and then drag that copy over, something like that. Select both of these layers, press control G to group them, and this will call pupils. And I'll collapse that. Now what I'm gonna do is add the rig control. So I'll hit this plus sign, hit this tab here just so we see everything. And I type in rig control and I can hit enter. And now we've got a rig control in here. This control is gonna control the pupils and the eye whites, but first let's do the whites. And we just have to, well, I'm gonna alt double click the eye whites so we can see it here more clearly. So now what we've got to do is click and drag this little thing here over to position. And when you do that, you should see some little dots here. And let's zoom in so we can see what's going on. So we got keyframes here. And if I now alt double click on the rig control, you'll see as I drag my time indicator, these dots are changing to different positions. So we see at frame zero, it's in the middle. At frame one, it's to the left. So what we need to do is go to our eye whites and we need to move this keyframe here to correspond to this position here. So we just move this over like so, ignore the pupils for now. And then we go to this, we see the eyes are over to the right. So I'll move them over and then we go to the next one. You're probably gonna figure out pretty quickly how this thing works. So this will be like our head looking up. And then the last one, We'll be looking down, something like that. And now as we go here, you'll see these dots correspond to the position of the eyes. And if I turn active on here and I move these around, you can see that this is basically our joystick controlling the direction that the head is looking, uh, minus the pupils. So you can right click in here, go to uh, reset attribute to default to get that back. Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing for the pupils. So alt, double click on pupils, and we take our rig control and attach it to the position of the pupils, and we get the same thing. So we, now we got keyframes on the pupil layer. So let's set these up. Our, um, if we alt double click on our rig control, we'll see the controller here again. And I'll drag over here. So this is to the left. And remember, it, you probably don't want to use groups if you want a real sophisticated rig. But if you are using this group method, click on the pupils here and you'll select the group. Whereas if I just click on the scene here, I'm selecting the individual objects. So I want to grab the group by clicking here. And I'll do the same basic thing that I did before. Let's move this over and go to the next keyframe, move this over here to the right, up, and I'm holding on shift as I drag to constrain my movements, and down. So now if I go and check this active here, I can see that we got these, they're, they're moving at different rates, so we get a little bit of perspective. If I added a mouth and a, and a nose and some hair, I could get um, you know this kind of parallaxing pseudo 3D effect. There's just one last thing that I need to do. If you try and uh, keyframe here by clicking these buttons, you'll see it's not working because when you created this uh, rig connection, it switched to this control layer. So we just need to switch back by clicking this button here and we're on a control layer. 
to set up the rig, but we double click default and now we're on the default animation layer. Those keyframes that were on the pupils and eye white went away because they're not on this animation layer. And if I want, I got this active on. I could keyframe by clicking this for the X and this for the Y, or I can hold down Alt and click on one of them and both the X and Y get keyframed. And now we wanna have this character looking in one direction. We just pick that direction something like that. And if you want to get fancy, we could do a little bit of a dip down in between by doing something like this. And we basically have a eye rig and the, uh, the links to the videos that are going to pop up on your screen will show you some other rigging techniques in Cavalry.